my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. What's the number one pitfall that we all fall into when we practice and most of us are totally unconscious about? Um, that's what this video is about and it's a real pitfall and most people fall into it and then they stay in that pit forever, not realizing that the reason why they don't develop to the point they want is not because they don't have the talent, but because they fall into that and the brain wants us there. So it's a, it's a really common thing. Before I move on, and tell you what it is, go subscribe to this channel and check out our new program on solo strumming uh, by clicking the link just below this video. Um, so what is it? Well, it's the fact that we become better at what we practice, right? Main principle of practicing, you become better at whatever it is you're, that you're practicing. Breakthrough thought, Klaus. <laughs> but but that's actually, if you think about it and look at what you play when you practice, you'll notice the fact that you are repeating patterns over and over and over again that you don't want to learn. Well, of course, Klaus, I have to fail and fail and fail in order to become better at anything, right? I have to try and then fail and then eventually I will succeed. Eh, wrong. It, of course not, right? When we are practicing, we're actually not practicing, we're training. We're building patterns into our nervous system. When you, as my old analogy, if you wanna be very good at putting a ball through uh, the hoop in basketball, or you wanna hit the goal in soccer, or whatever it is that you, or the dart in uh, when you, you know, uh, whatever that is, uh, then what you do is you try and fail all the time, right? And every time you get it right, and you accidentally hit the bullseye when you try to make that dart go there, then, your whole body and brain is not trying to notice what you did that was so right, right? You, <gasps> success, and then th there's this uh, boost of, of hormones in your body that tries to say to the brain, this was important, please notice what we just did. And that's the learning process. Then you fail, 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 and then suddenly, boom, you get it right. <gasps> and you have this rush again, and the brain tries to program itself with the memory of what you just did. That's a slow process. But when it comes to guitar, we have the opportunity of slowing down everything. You can't slow down gravity when you're trying to hit the bullseye. You can't do it slowly because you have to follow the laws of physics, right? But when we're practicing guitar, we can actually slow down. But most of us try and, and work from a mindset of, well, it's the same as, you know, becoming good at hitting the goal in soccer. It's the same as, you know, you just have to do it a lot and then you have to practice, practice, practice. But that is so untrue. So you get better at what you practice. Means that if you took that analogy of hitting the goal in soccer and you took it to here and said, I have to fail 10 times for every time I get those three notes right. Or when I play solo, which is the main point of this video, when I play solo, I put on a jam track and then I just start playing. But most of what I play sounds awful because I'm playing licks and I'm trying to make them fit and they don't. And then I rest on a couple of notes once in a while and it sounds really good. But 99% of what I do sounds totally like an amateur. It isn't good. And if I recorded myself, I would not feel good about the result. Right? That is not the way to become good at playing this instrument. Neither, if you're playing techniques, for instance, and you want to become good at alternate picking, what you don't do is you don't, don't try to play fast all the time, right? Or you don't play three notes over and over again with mistakes every other time. Or you don't practice chords and then make a mistake every other time. Stop doing that, it's stupid. Because what happens in the brain is that if you don't stop and consider something a mistake, if you finger a chord and it sounds so-so because, uh, you know, then, 
and you just move on and play the next chord and back to the first chord again, which is not, then that's what you become good at. And then you, you, you struggle to understand why it is that you've been practicing so much and you still are, you know, have crappy chords that sound weird, right? Stop and say, my definition of when I have played the chord is when I've played the freaking chord and not something in its vicinity, right? I'm, I need to actually get it right. Right? Every, every string perfect, but I'm a beginner, Klaus. Go do this, right? Stop the idea that you can do something that isn't perfect and then learn from it. <laughs> it might take, it, it's slow in the beginning, right? And you, you have to use more time and it's, see, you know, in the other way, it seems that you're getting results faster because you're gonna, right? It seems that, oh, I can almost play the song. Yeah, but it sounds stupid. It doesn't sound good, right? Then play it perfectly from the beginning, right? And when you play those three notes, play them perfectly. And when you practice soloing, do not take a couple of licks, put on a jam track, and then start playing something on top of that. I wouldn't even do it for fun, seriously, because I don't want that kind of information to enter my brain, that it's okay to play things that doesn't sound right. That's what happens. You put on that jam track, you start playing, and just try recording yourself. You just spent like 15 minutes playing stuff that sounds awful. And I'm not trying to be hard on you or say, oh, you shouldn't be a beginner, play everything perfect right from the beginning. Well, you can, right? Place your first finger right there. Is it good now? Yes, it's good. Place your second finger in right there. And don't move on until it's, it's right. And ah, the first finger kind of slipped again. Let me see, there, there it is, right? That's a way to practice. And when you solo, when you practice soloing, stop playing a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. This is how you do it. Let me just go for the, uh, let me see, a level. Uh, I got a C minor, and I got my C minor penance on it in the, in the eighth fret, right? And then I won't just play a lot of stuff. Right? Right? Don't stop that, right? Play something that you want to play and have come out really cool. So like... Ah, didn't know how to end that, really. Okay. Uh, what am I hearing in my head? How did I hear that, that phrase come out? Stop the jam track, the looper pedal, whatever. And then go... I don't know. Ah. Oh, that's it. Wow! See, in the brain right now, you told it. You, you recognized the fact that you weren't playing what you wanted to play, and you stopped and you corrected. And, and then you practiced it so many times, so you can actually play it right now. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Uh, maybe get the rhythm right in relation to the jam track or the loop there. What? Now I'm actually doing something here. Okay, next thing. Uh, okay. You know, I stumble around, I hear something coming up against that track. You know how you want to hear? You want to play what you hear in your head? I get that question a lot. How do I learn to play what I hear in my head? Play what you hear in your head, right? Of course you need the tools, you need the scale shapes, and you need the techniques, but from there, what you need to do is you need to not settle for anything else than what you hear in your head. What happens if you do this is you play something, you're not satisfied with it, and the brain says, okay, we don't need to learn what he just played because he wasn't satisfied with it. He wasn't just moving on to something else as if what he just played was good enough. Right? So he was correcting it. He went back to it. He practiced it, stopped the jam track, put it on again, play the lick that he just came up with, or the, the, the line, until it was perfect. Then he went on to something else, tried to... 
all right? Then he stopped the jam track, perhaps, or he just corrected it as the jam track was running. It's perfect in rhythm, he's got the phrasing right, he's got everything right. And that's the loop you wanna run when you solo, right? Or when you practice chords. You wanna find your way to perfection, right? And don't, oh, why should things be perfect? Why, why wouldn't you have them be perfect, right? Oh, I'm getting married, why should that day be perfect? Whatever it is, right? Whatever you <laughs> wanna have be perfect. Well, what's wrong with perfect if you can achieve it, right? And you can, so stop the, the settling for crappy, right? <laughs> so, so that's what you, you drive that loop, but if you don't go for the loop, you're going to teach your brain that it's okay, that it's not, that it's not cool, <laughs> right? So you push for speed and you have a lot of mistakes in there, you're going to be very good at playing very fast with a ton of mistakes in what you do. So, so what is it that you're playing very fast? You're playing, you know, inconsistent, you know, bundles of notes with very fast. That's not cool, that's not what you want. So you, you're very good at playing a lot of chords, yeah, but very good at what? Playing the chords how? They don't come out right, they don't, they're not clean, and you don't really enjoy the process of playing them. You have an illusion of progress, right? But you don't really have progress. So, so you can play, you know, licks over some songs in the background, but the, the rhythm is not right, you don't know exactly how to end it, you, you lose your place in the music, all kinds of stuff is going on that you have zero control over, but it feels, yeah, I'm playing licks and there's music and it seems like progress, but it's not. And because we stay there and we don't, it, we don't wake up to the fact that we've been practicing that, We've been practicing what we have. We've been building our skills to that level that we're so dissatisfied with. And then we conclude that we don't have the talent. We, I don't have what it takes. He's been practicing as long as I have, and he's way better than I am. Well, start practicing what you want to become good at. Start playing what you want to become good at. Start repeating what you want to become good at. Instead of repeating over and over again what you don't want to become good at. Crappy licks, crappy lines, crappy quotes, crappy uh, techniques, right? I think you got the point now. <laughs> so I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your practicing regimen. And don't forget this. Remind yourself again and remember to subscribe to this channel and go check out our new program. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.